Hi and hello Let's Play fans, it's your old pal Berg787 back with another instalment of our Age of Wonders 3 campaign, the Elven Court campaign to be specific. We are in hot pursuit of the evil Gamblag, who betrayed our brother, murdered him, shot him in the back like the coward that he is, uh, and um, has branded us, us as Sundran of House in Inioc, I believe it is. It's been a couple of days since I played, so forgive me. But uh, yeah, so she, they, he branded us a traitor to the realm. So, you know, we're trying to clear our name and you know, avenge our brother. Along the way, we've uh, picked up this chap here, Reskar, who's decided to join us as well. He is a dra draconian. I like these uh, dragon humanoid type things. Anyway, he's with us now. And we shall get on with things. I've, I've, just so you know, I've had two steaks. Uh, so I'm feeling a bit full. Now, that's not me bragging about having two steaks. I'm actually a bit concerned uh, because the, the steaks I actually thought the expiry date wasn't until a couple more days. So I had a couple more days. But then when I was checking in the fridge earlier today, I saw that that was actually a day out. It actually, today, yesterday was the expiry date. So uh, I was like, what the fuck should I do, man? Do I throw them away? They're two steaks. I was looking forward to them. So, I opened them up, they didn't smell, they smelt normal, and I usually that's my biggest indicator on food, is the smell, you see, so if it stunk, I would have been like, alright, well, we got to throw out, but smell okay, colour had turned a little bit, I mean, you know, it wasn't like mould growing on it, but it had gone dark, you know, I didn't particularly like the look of it, but it smelt fine, I thought, well, fuck it, I'll, uh, I'll cook them, so I cooked the two steaks, had them, had them with some potatoes, now, normally I like my steaks rare, but, you know, with them being a day out, I thought best not to risk, best not to risk it. So I did them like well done and they were okay. I mean, look, a well done steak is better than no steak. But, you know, I kind of probably could have done without them in all fairness. And I'm just a little bit concerned now that uh, you know, I might just throw up at some stage during the video. So bear that in mind. I'll debate whether to edit it out if I do throw up. It could be quite funny. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll see where we go with that. But um, anyway, enough about my dietary needs. I've got my coffee here, which is really all I need uh, to wash down anything. And we shall get on with where we left off. And I believe that was probably ending a set. No, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we had this army who was just running around doing shit. We were going to move them. Okay, yeah, go on. Cl Have a look what's down there. Cool, so we got some public baths, which add 100 to our population of this city. That was the most recent city that we captured. Sort of Orc City. And you, do you have any more movement? One. And I believe I'm going to send Reskar. That was it. I think that was my plan, send Reskar over here, because I want to get him to level up a little bit more. This city, we have insufficient funds to build the Griffin Spire. But we have produced the Riders Hall. Okay. Um, produce, uh, where is it? Yeah. Merchandise. Is there anywhere I can swap that round? It should be. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to the Griffin Spire anyway. And you can still produce the War Hall. Okay, good stuff. And this is my, one of my reinforcement units on the way up. Who's I going to give them to? Probably them. Yeah. Right, I can move well far. Okie dokie, up there. And uh, yeah, we've got some more reinforcements. And I think another lot as well, yeah. Probably would have been better if I just held these guys all together, but you know, never mind. Not as if I do things logically on this show, anyway. Alright, here we go, end turn. What the fuck? Gamblag, Master of Master of Origins, the Disjunct's Poison Mastery. Success. Oh, right. Okay, so he... Uh, that, that, rem that rem I remember now. We cast a... a spell which gave us... which gave all our irregular troops uh, poison damage, I believe it was. So, let us see if we can't... Yeah, it gave all our infantry, cavalry, and air regular units uh, 2 plus uh, damage of poison strength. So, let's see if we can't cast that again. Excellent, so we just... I'm presuming that's just back up and running. Good, good. This place has turned into a city. Yep. Uh, you guys meet up with them. 
good. That's some sort of like mishmash army. Oh, you're just out of movement points? Well, you can destroy them next turn. We will move Sundrin where... Oh, we should go to this observatory. I can't believe we've not been here yet. We probably have. I just don't remember. Should really watch back the last episode when I haven't filmed for a couple of days. Uh, you keep moving. It's the M button. Is that it? Is that, that all you move? No, it's not all you move. Keep moving, you stupid horse. Ah! Oh, miss clicks. There we go. You... You know what? You just join them so I don't have to move like 15 different people in one, like, separately. Yep, that's it. You can end your turn. Okay, so a few things. Delacere has produced an observatory. Very nice. Yep, produce a shrine. Dagger level 4 has been produced. So Cloak and Dagger, we could go up to level 5. What was Corrupted Killers? Scoundrels gain 50. We're not actually using any scoundrels and stuff like that, but that would be cool. Urban cover, basic seafaring domain of winter, treasure riding. Blind. Target friendly unit. Yeah, that's kind of good. Panic attack. You know what? Let's let's queue up Panic Attack. I quite like the sound of it. Delos has grown into a city. These guys... Yeah, you can fight in a second. Yep. You can crush some... Uh, what is it? Spiders and goblins? Although I probably could have took more troops on this. Might have been the, might have been the smarter move. I think we should be fine. Oh, firing your stink arrows, or poisonous spit, or whatever it was. Oh, I can smell them from here. Okay. Sundrin, Sundrin. That's not a lot. That's a fair bit on those goblins. But they do get quite a bit of blight protection. Sundrum, what about if you cast Suffocate? Oh, they're not spiders, they're big beetles. Right, okay. Um, yeah, alright, just suffocate them. Probably doing them a favour, not letting them smell themselves. Rescar! Rescar could kill them. Can't kill them. Uh, I have to think about this. You move forward to one. It's not a lot of damage. You could take out these goblin untouchables. Yeah, we'll get you to take them out. I'm actually guaranteed if they shot four fours, it wouldn't have killed them. But okay, we got the mana promotion. Good. I'll move them here to protect. I think if someone moves into a zone, they will attack. Our Draconian Flamers. Actually, perfect unit for this. They can hit both. Oh. I remember the buttons to press. There we go. Fire those balls of fire and whatnot. Nice, nice. Uh, oh, shame these guys are from behind. Actually, I don't think it matters, though. I don't think they lose... Um, like, they'll still do the same amount of damage, whatever they, however much they've moved. So yep, yeah. a bit, ooh, and a bit of bonus morale. Cool, critical hit and an upgrade. Did we kill the ones behind? I think we did. Yeah, excellent. Okay, now Union Guard haven't even got involved yet. They, wow, so unlucky. Just can't. Well, they might finish these guys off. Maybe they will get the morale bonus themselves. No. Well, almost. Almost finished them off. Uh, and Reska. Reska. Doo -doo -doo. You know what? I'm just going to kill these because why give them an attack? Even though there's only a few of them, they still do the same damage. So it makes more sense just to wipe them off the face of this battle map. Oh, no. That looks awesome the way it runs. Okay, so just these big beetles left. Another turn. 
Coming around here. It's in the back, eh? Oh, did they kill all of them? Oh, man. I didn't think that was going to happen, but... That was a shame. Union Guard as well. I mean, we've got reinforcements coming, but... I don't appreciate that. Uh, the Flamers. Drop your flame. You drop that. Uh, you... What's this thing? You've got steel enchantment. Uh, I don't really care about that. Wow, I've not done loads of damage to that yet. I mean, we'll kill it this turn, but I just thought we might have done a bit more damage to it. Uh, do we want to send our draconian crushers in? Okay, we'll get a beat back. Um, or Reskar could just finish them off. Yeah, we'll get Reskar to finish them off. Get a bit of a flanking bonus. They do a lot of damage, these fuckers, though, don't they? Alright, cool. Reskar got a promotion as well. We did lose one unit, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but we'll survive. Got that. Refugee camp. Coolie oh, coolie oh, coolie oh, oh. Uh, we will replace the loss. What have they got? So they've got some, like, they fire, they magic, they beat. Probably, who would be the best? Probably these these unicorn riders seem like they would be a, a good fit for them. So we'll move them over there. You can wait with your buddies, with your new new troops. You um, you just follow Sundrin. There we go. And your turn. Meanwhile, Reskar, I think this, this is the first time we've leveled him up. Yeah, he's level 2. So, usually I do like to give these um, base improvements. So, the like hit points, you know, defense, melee strength, stuff like that. But let's just see what he's got. So, he's got Befriend Animal. Attempts to take control of target enemy animal unit. Against mounted unit, this ability causes feral mount. Okay, so that's pretty good. And it's only two, only two, uh, two upgrade points. So, I might actually use that. Cure Disease. And Druidry increases the spell casting points by 10. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Free movement. Nature's resistant. Rush strike. Uh, causes target enemy armored unit to suffer minus 2 or deals 20 damage to target enemy machine unit and attempts to deteriorate until the end of combat. Alright, all right, that's pretty good. It is 5 though. No wonder it's <laughs> no wonder it's good. Uh, shock Pretension and Warm at Night. All units in the Heroes Army game plus 40 protection against uh, cold. Okay. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to take this Befriend Animal. I like the sounds of it. I think it could be handy. And then what else shall we upgrade? His melee is definitely his strength. We will, use, we will upgrade his melee. His hit points could do with a bit of a boost as well, so we'll upgrade that. And... And we will upgrade his defense as well. There we go. So that's Reskar's upgrades for the turn for, for, for this level done. Dallas here has turned into a city. It's still working on something. And these guys uh, are a bit too big to join up here. These are just sort of like reinforcements. Pure reinforcements. End your turn. Sundrin, head into this tower over here. Oh, we're getting closer to Gamblag's capital. It is defended with a strong stone wall. I had some siege engines built. I hope they will be of use to you. Yeah? Where are they? Thank you. These siege engines will prove useful. If Gamblag thinks his city is safe behind those walls, he is mistaken. We have many options of dealing with them. Griffin riders can simply fly over the walls and unicorns can phase past them. Infantry like our swordsmen can use ladders to scale the walls. Although they will be more vulnerable while climbing. All right, where where are these um? Where where are these uh? What were they? What did he say? Like catapults and shit. What was he talking about? A oh, one. Okay. I mean, uh, sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't scoff at the one that he's brought. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't want to sound like an ingrate, but yeah, you were making out like it was tons. So who do we have here? Oh, who do we have here? We've got them 
these guys with their well, what the fuck's that? Some sort of cannon. All right. Crusaders. All right. It is actually Gamblag City. That's where he is. All right. Okay. I didn't realise we were that close. Cool. Uh, shit. I wish we were kind of a bit more all together. Sundrin, you might want to just take a little walk back. Alright, well in turn, we prepare to smash. Um I don't really care about any of that shit, so you just keep um you just keep producing merchandise. That's what I would say. You um I think you might be a merchandise place as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh no no mana. I'm alright for mana. We'll merchandise you up. And you Is it this where we were building the Griffin Spire? I think it was. We'll build that. Rescar, come join. Come in, buddy? Okay. I think this episode's going to run a little bit long. Oh wait, there was some more here right on the border, I didn't even notice. Okay, well, now I really feel bad for making fun of what he brought along, because uh, that's pretty good. Very pleased with that. Move you guys together. Sundrin can go there. Actually, Sundrin can't. Oh fuck! That might be. <laughs> that might have been a bad move. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't. But it might have been a really bad move. Well, fuck it. If they attack me, I'll smash them up. Sundrin's hard as nails. Literally can't move these in one square. For oh, I can. Okay, so maybe they'll have some backup of these then if they do get attacked. That's fine. Right. Cool. So we researched Panic just before this battle, which is quite nice. Uh, you, yeah, you're producing Orcs, so... No, just keep producing merchandise. No, you keep producing merchandise. Panic researched. We shall... It says Cunning Escape. Mm, yeah, I don't really want to be escaping. Cloak and Dagger 5. You... Uh, I don't think we're going to need them, but just in case we do, give me um, give me some more unicorn riders. I think, yeah. I have like a whole squadron. You uh, just keep building. Give me more money. Uh, right. So, how are we going to position our troops? So if we move, if we move Sundrin here, we'll move you there. I'm gonna put all of this ship just behind. So I'll move that into position. Gamblag, hurry up, son! Yeah, you're all gonna have to wait your turn. Let's party. Okay, hold on. So we don't have all four of our... And have all four of our units. But we do still have our... Oh no, that's a builder. Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Idiot. <laughs> um, who are these guys? Monster Hunters. Swordsman. Nombo. Alright. All of you, you guys just move there, you move there, you, I'm going to take the bowman, move you there, and now we'll attack, I don't need all four of them, this will be good enough. 
I would have thought Gamblag would have had more troops, but there you go. I have to smite him. Big city, though. Get it. It's pretty cool. Alright, what are you doing? Touch my faith. I can't believe they were touched by a priest. That did nothing, that fucking cannon. That was, that was pussy cannon. Alright, trebuchet. I just bash up this wall over here while I get me in. I don't think they can move in the fire, so... Just move them a little bit nearer. Don't think I'm actually going to want to move anyone else though. What is this? Battering ram. To get that right next to the door, probably, so... I'll move you over here. Union guard. You can go protect it. Longbowman, but I think I don't think I actually want to move in anyone. I'm actually saying that. My unicorn riders. I move them right over here and then look to phase them across. If these guys do decide to run over and do some damage, we can always move our our uh, draconian flamers over and start to fuck them up. I'll move you here just so you're in position. Uh, move you along as well because you can be quite handy. The crushers we're not in a big rush for. These flamers, you just stand here. A rescar, old buddy, old pal. Mm. Do they have any mounted units? I don't think they do. No. Okay. So, this root spear, probably. Yeah, we'll use your root spear attack on. It's quite a bit of damage to that cannon. Fuck up these evangelists. Um, I don't know. We'll... Seems like messing up the cannon could be a good idea. Yeah, right, we'll do that. Did quite a bit of damage, actually. And Sundren cannot attack. All right, okay. I thought we could like do two spells per turn. Maybe, but I don't know what game I've been playing. All right, we'll leave it all there. And we'll see what they do, how they plan on defending. I don't plan on doing a lot, though. It seems. Okay, we can start to attack this stone wall. Attack the stone wall. Looked like it missed. But, um, I'll take that. I don't see the point in rushing anyone in yet. They're just going to get take damage. Apart from these guys, I see the point in rushing them in. Uh, how does phase work? If we use phase, it can only be used once per battle. Alright. Move here. All ah, right. Okay. So yeah, anywhere. We'll teleport you back here. We'll see if that draws them over. If it does we'll start to move these chaps a bit nearer. Sneaking in. Ah, uh, Raska, Raska. You go and join your troops over there. As were you guys. Uh, over here in the middle, we're not in a particularly rush to get ourselves killed. We will move these unicorn riders over here though, we'll get them to do like the same thing. And uh, you will move Sundrin, Sundrin. Rain of Blades. Who's armoured here? These guys. All oh, these guys I guess are armoured aren't they? Who does that though? 100% blight protection. Hmm. Can't suffocate a machine, can we? Uh, okay. We will just do this on the Orc Crusaders. And I think we will end turn, see what they do. Your move, Gamblag! 
Oh, these priests going around touching. Oh, you can heal. Okay, well, that's who's next getting it. Oof. Oh, that cannon did a lot more damage this time. Okay, so they're starting to come out then. Eh? They've seen that standing there is pointless. And that if they are to face certain death, they might as well face it heroically. That cannon needs to go down there. <laughs> Cannon wasn't fun. You keep trying to smash this up. Good. Battering ram, stay there. You guys, that was um that was a rather painful hit. We'll move you over here, hopefully out of harm's way. To get these fuckers. I would like to kill them, but that cannon, I, I didn't. I see it's full power now, so. <laughs> uh, we will uh, rain the blades down on it. Meanwhile, over here, these guys have decided to come and face us, so we're, we'll just stand here, really. I don't see the point in uh, running away from them. Let them come. Turn face. You guys will wait there. You can't scale the walls, which is a bit rubbish, but never mind. You run over there. Rescar, can you get to the door? No, you can't, but you will next turn. Get you a bit of support from these chaps. Actually, in all fairness, we could probably come this way and flank these guys, since they decided to run away. I think it's because I brought my unicorn guy in, they, they shit their pants and decided to empty the castle, or the, the fort. And, yeah, we will end turn there. Oh, more priest touching. Yeah, that's it, one damage. Well, I, I quite like the fact that they've just decided to come and fight us. Uh, There's me from having to try and beat my way through. Can these guys just attack? They do loads of damage. Union Guard. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Ah, these Crusaders could be a bit of a problem. But if we hit them... Wow, oh, that doesn't even do a lot of damage. Tough as nails, these fuckers, aren't they? Move these Union Guard in. Our uh, longbowmen. I mean, a little bit of damage is going to be good. They're out of range, okay, never mind. Uh, I just want to come back here. About them. Okay, that's starting to do some serious damage. We will um, see if we can't attack these guys from over here with our battering ram. Yep. And they can't retaliate against it. Okay, cool. Now we should get some flanking damage as well. And a charge. So, eat Biff! Oh, wow. They fucked us up back there pretty bad. Um... Okay, things are okay. Now, on to these guys. Longbowmen. Who are these people? They're great swords and impalers. Okay. So if you can hear some drilling sound, hopefully it's not being picked up, but there's some work going on in the Berg Bunker, it seems. Okay, I'll take that. That was pretty good damage, actually. Swordsmen could go and finish them off. They can't actually reach the impalers, so... Probably makes sense just to go and finish these guys off. Good, good, good. The monster hunter. Wow, monster hunters are doing big damage. But first, let's see if we can't just weaken them a bit more with uh, some storm sister shots. There we go. Oh, they're stunned. Nice. Might not even attack them. No, I will attack them because they can't do anything back to me. 
It's monster hunters. I'm surprised how much damage they can do. Not even hunting monsters there. Uh, Sundrin, get your blowpipe out, love. That's only a little bit of damage, but it will turn these fuckers around. Which should then give Rescar Pike Squire's first strike. Okay. Okay. I thought we'd get some flanking, but these guys seem to be immune to flanking. Um, Alright, we're just going to fire at you instead. Probably should have used that Dragon Flame thing on Rescar. Uh, you guys just move there to give it a little bit of an open gap. We just get them to attack. Won't do a lot of damage, so we'll just fire our our fire bombs at them. Yep, good, well done. You come around here. Grab some more fire bomb. Oh, fuck up, Rescar. <laughs> I do a lot of damage to them. Can these guys even reach? No, they can't even reach. Okay. So we'll just move these here um, to sort of do their best at protecting. You keep running over here. Hopefully you can um, fuck up this cannon before it does any more damage. Rescar, what about if you fired your bow and arrow? What would you do there? Three times so. So you could do 21 damage. Oh, Alright, yeah, you can kill him. Okay. Yeah, six. Thirteen. Yeah, twenty, okay. Almost did maximum. So got these fuckers left, these priests, some razor bows and that cannon. Okay, things are going pretty good. There's nothing else we've got to do. Okay, and turn. Wow, what did it hit all three? Wow, that was some serious damage over there. I have to go and check out. Anyone die over here? I don't think anyone did. It just blew up the cover. It looked probably more spectacular. Uh -huh. Trebuchet. Uh, um, how are we going to play this? How are we going to play this? You attack them. Yep, almost killed them. You attack them. Yep. Oh, you're still not dead, you fuckers. I was going to kill them. Uh, I feel like that's a massive waste. These evangelists actually have quite a lot of health. Uh, Alright, fuck these evangelists up. I can always drop a spell on them or something like that. Uh, a few more shots here. Good. Oh, and you can get in and crush there. Okay. Reason why I wanted to do that is because I want to use these guys to jump up and interfere with the razor bows because obviously they're going to do less damage. Uh, in close combat, I'm guessing, than what they will do if they fire their arrows, so we'll jump them up here. Although my unicorn men might die, actually. I just realised how low health they've got. 22. Or 21, rather. 37. Uh, no, well, actually, they'll probably survive. Uh, these unicorns, can they get them? They can. Uh, they just can't finish them off, but they can't retaliate, so that's fine. Bash, bash. And just someone who can fire something you guys will do. Oh, that's not killing them. Alright, well, fire it anyway. You did get flanking bone against them. I don't know why I moved you. Uh, we could get the longbowmen in range, but I'll just move Sundrin instead. Should be able to do it. What's that? One damage. All these hits just to finish this cut off. Um, this should finish him off. Uh, would if we could reach. Uh, okay. 
Why have we? Uh, are we? Uh, yeah, Rescar's out of casting points. Uh, that's a bit of a shame because now this fucker's gonna fire again. There's nothing we can do to hit him. Oh wait, Storm Sisters! Thank God I saw them. You can kill him, right? Ah, oh, thank God. Because even though I had one health left, it would still do massive damage and it could kill someone. Ah, uh, so we are good to go now. We've got some longbowmen. Who it is? Oh, yeah, okay. I think we're good to go. We've just got these razor bows over here and we've taken the city. They tried to run away, so we gave them a bit of a juck up. And they decided to fire our Union Guard. Interesting choice. Uh, can we kill them without dying ourselves? That will kill them and we will get first shot and we will survive. Okay, so good. Juk and game over. And we didn't lose any troops. Well done, son. Well done, Sundrun. Yeah, I didn't think that was it. City awaits its fate. Uh, we will absorb. That's what we do. We're good guys here. We don't transmogrify or whatever it is. <laughs> Move them over, basically. All right. Um, I'm just going to sort of do a bit of in-house stuff now at the end of this in-between episodes just to tidy it up. Uh, you know, ass assign what I'm going to build here and there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, as always, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel if you like the content in general that I do produce. Um, obviously come back next time we will hopefully be fighting gamblag i think on the next episode so stay tuned bye bye